Welcome to Love Always Adventure Often. We bought a bus. Hey friends, we're the Browns. Chad, Katie, Addison, and Kenya, Milo, and Charlie. We live to love an adventure. This is our story of leaving the norm behind to travel the United States full time, spreading love and encouraging others to do the same. Our family motto is love always, adventure often. So hit subscribe and join us for this incredible journey. Well, we're a bus family. We bought a bus. We bought it like 10 minutes ago. Already freaking out. And we're already freaking out. There's a lot of mixed emotions. <laughs> this whole journey is about mixed emotions, I guess. Yeah, we but uh, yeah, we I'm pretty excited. Yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. We've got to go get it right now and drive it for the first time. We've got to drive it about half hour home. <laughs> and it's like it's already stripped. All the seats are taken out. Metals taken like the inside metals taken down. It's, gotta drive it alone. it's literally a shell with one seat in it and a steering wheel. <laughs> but we're the proud owners. We own it. Outright. Outright. <laughs> so we paid $4,600 <laughs> for it, um, for the shell. It's in great shape. We took it to a diesel mechanic today. They said it's a great bus. Uh, a couple minor issues with maybe a tie rod and, some, and it needs to be lubed. Um, but other than that, Here's to a lot of work. You ready for a lot of work, buddy? You gonna work on the bus? <laughs> so I know it's hard to see me, but uh, I'm starting her up for the first time. Take a look back there. Woo! <laughs> Let's see. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Here we go, driving down the freeway. We just pulled the bus in and it barely fits in the space that we had intended for it. I mean, inches. Wow. So that's cool. So this is our space. We're going to work on it. I'm going to give you a little tour of the bus as is. It's in pretty good condition. They've already redone the roof. Tires are in incredible condition. Look at the tread on the tires. Really good. Not much rust. For the most part, this is the rustiest part right here, and it's still not cancerous, it's still pretty solid. So just grind that, paint it. Let me give you a quick tour of the bus as it is now. Uh, the guy that sold it to us just left everything in it. He just kinda stopped work and that was it. They were getting ready to move to Colorado, but uh, I know we mentioned earlier, one of our earlier uh, videos that we were looking at it but we didn't know for sure we we're gonna buy it so here's the bus lots of the walls have been taken out floors already been taken out um, obviously we're gonna need to grind that and paint it seal it seal all the holes here's the seat driver's seat which I haven't figured out how to move up and down yet so I was crouching the entire drive home last night <laughs> in the dark first time driving it in the dark but it was so fun, I loved it. So heated cabin, or heated front up here, and uh, mirror. Ooh, hello. And don't forget, school bus rules. So always follow the directions of the driver. I'm gonna leave these up. Started pulling stuff apart, and it's looking good. So this side of the bus has not had the the wall panels pulled yet. All the windows are in pretty good shape as far as I can tell. This one has a seal issue that we're gonna have to take care of at some point. So behind the driver's seat, 32 feet of livable space. He started pulling wires and stuff. <laughs> Just crazy. So right now we're drawing up floor plans. There's your fuel access that needs the cover back on it eventually after we take care of the floor. Lots of work. Lots and lots and lots of work. It's a pneumatic door, which uh, Milo thinks is pretty cool. So you just push and pull this lever here. Door opens and closes when it's pressurized. Right now I don't have it pressurized, I have it unlocked. Here's the ignition. 
There's also no park on a school bus, apparently. You just put it in neutral, pull the park brake, which is right there, and uh, you're in park. Cruise control. Who doesn't like a little cruise control at 55 miles per hour? Hey, I got it up to about 65 miles per hour last night, so that was impressive. High idle to get your air pressure up if it's needed. Um, an engine button that I don't know yet. <laughs> Lights and parking brakes and dimmers. And then this panel is mostly uh, just cabin lights, uh, flashers, all that kind of stuff. Someday we will be out in the wilderness. We'll have some wilderness neighbors. So we'll open this up and we'll say hi to our neighbors. Some of the, the side mirrors are in pretty rough shape. I don't know if we'll be able to clean those up or if we're gonna have to replace the glass in them. They were really hard to see out of last night when I was driving. So anyway, this is gonna be our home soon. We bought a house, uh, which is actually a bus, so it's obviously gonna be a ton of work. We're putting together some plans, a budget. We're gonna share everything. So our channel is gonna change right now from an adventure channel, since we're probably not gonna be able to do a lot of adventuring during the remodel process, because we wanna spend every last minute on the bus. It's gonna change from an adventure channel for temporarily to a bus restoration or conversion channel which I realize there's a ton of them, but we're stoked. We're so excited. We were, I, I can't tell you, yesterday, when it came time to pull the trigger, we were so scared. <laughs> we were so nervous, and it was time to throw down the money, and we just said, you know what, let's just go for it. We'll never know, and we'll never, I mean, not never, but we don't know if we'll ever have this opportunity again, and so, we threw down the money, and then as I was driving home last night on the freeway, I just got so giddy because I started looking in the rearview mirror and just envisioning this thing finished beautifully, exactly the way that we want it. The kids playing in the back, Katie cooking something, and parked at the foot of these amazing mountains, deserts, rivers, lakes, everything. So. I just can't, I can't tell you how excited I am. I know it's a lot of work. I am not in any way uh, naive to the fact that this is gonna be a ton of work, but we're stoked.